The Honourable Member from South Surrey, White Rock. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I also rise to request an emergency debate on the Prime Minister's dangerous and failed drug decriminalization policy. You heard the Leader of the Opposition speak about the gravity, that it is a grave and urgent matter, and I agree with that. I particularly agree with it as, as a British Columbian. BC Premier David Eby and his NDP government have finally admitted that these extremist policies are a failure. And, they, and now he's come begging for major changes to the Prime Minister's hard drug decriminalization plan. For Canadians watching who are not from BC, this plan allows for opioids, cocaine, heroin, and methamphetamines to be used in public spaces, such as parks, coffee shops, your local Tim Hortons, public transit, and even hospitals. When this policy began in 2023, the province set a devastating record. In that one year, there were over 2,500 drug deaths. After nine years of this NDP Liberal Prime Minister, more than 40,000 Canadians have tragically died from drug overdoses. 40,000 completely preventable deaths. Taxpayer-funded drugs continue to be handed out by this radical government, and these deadly drugs are increasingly diverted into the hands of organized crime and teenagers pushing our youth into the destructive cycle of addiction. We see videos about this all pretty much daily out of British Columbia. Drug overdose is now the number one cause of death for 10 to 17-year-olds in BC. That's pretty devastating, Mr. Speaker. Until the Prime Minister's extremist drug decriminalization policy is dismantled, it will continue to cause death chaos and carnage across Canada. Parliament has a responsibility to attend to the ongoing destruction caused by this deadly hard drug policy. I understood from the Minister earlier today in question period that they have Premier Eby's request under review. Well, as the Leader of the Opposition just said, every day of review means six more deaths every day. I trust that my request will be considered as the emergency and crisis that it is in order to save lives, rebuild families, eliminate chaos in our streets and start putting more money into treatment and recovery from drug addiction. We must put an end to these dangerous and deadly policies immediately. I repeat, Mr. Speaker, six lives per day every day. The time to turn this hurt into hope starts now. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Please consider this as the urgent matter it is. Thank you. I'd like to thank the Honourable Member from South Surrey, uh, South Surrey White Rock, as well as the Member from Carleton, uh, for giving the Speaker notice, as well as for their arguments that they are presented here in the House. I th However, I do find that their request does not meet the requirements of the standing order as it is listed in the House of Commons standing orders.